Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the gaming services install error code 0x80073d26. So if you're experiencing this issue when attempting to download an application and it says that something unexpected happened, reporting this problem will help us understand it better. You can wait for a while and try again or restart your device. This may help and then it provides that error code I just read. So a couple of different things we can try and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in update. Best result should come back with check for updates. Go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and just select the check for updates button here. So perform a manual check for Windows updates. And then just give it a moment here. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu again, type in Microsoft Store. Go ahead and open that up as well. Okay, so once you have the Microsoft Store open, select the library button on the left side down at the bottom here on the left panel. And then you want to select the Get Updates button. Just go ahead and left click on that. It used to be up here next to the profile icon. There was a three dotted icon you could select. So just go ahead and see if there's any updates available for the apps on your Microsoft Store. And you can see it looks like it has updated. So at this point, go ahead and close out of here now that we've updated both Windows Update and the Microsoft Store apps. And go ahead and restart your device. So one further thing you can try if you're still having a problem here would be to open up the search menu, type in PowerShell. Best result should come back a Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now I'm going to have three commands and then there's going to be a fourth one we're going to enter in once we restart our computer. But for right now, just copy the first one to your clipboard. So just highlight over it, right click and copy. And then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste in the first PowerShell command, as you can see on my screen. And now we're going to go paste in the next two. Don't be concerned if it doesn't find one or two of them, it's not you know, a big deal. Some of your systems may be slightly different, you can see in my case it's no different. So go ahead and just paste in the third one here as well. So you see the first one already took care of it, so we're just giving a couple different options there. If the first one didn't work, that's why we have two more here. In worst case scenario, the command just won't execute properly. So no big deal, it's not doing anything. So anyway, once you've run those three, or at least attempted to run those three, you can see the first one did run, which is what we were going for here. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. Okay, and now that our computer has restarted, if we open up the search menu again, type in PowerShell, go ahead and right click on Windows PowerShell and then run as administrator, select yes, and now we're going to go ahead and paste in that fourth command here. And there we go, I think that's about it. And there you go. So at this point, it might open up the Microsoft Store here. Go ahead and select the Get button for the gaming services. Select Yes. So pretty straightforward process, guys. So once you've installed that, you will need to restart your computer. So go ahead and restart your device at this point.
So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a pause able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.